Hey, and welcome back to the channel. It's Matthias again. Christian Kuhn asked me to show you around the style guide extension of Table 3's backend. And this is going to be two videos because it's huge. Um, and in the first video, we're going to walk you through all the small things um, it'll help you with. So stay tuned. So if you install Typo 3 via Composer and you're running Latest Master with all dev dependencies, you will find a new extension in your extension manager, which is called Style Guide. And I'm going to show you this right now. So I'm in the extension manager. I already searched for style. And then you can see this little green-ish tree icon, um, which basically is the icon for the Style Guide extension. And you might wonder what it does, because at first sight, it does add nothing to the uh, module bar. And this is because it's under the help menu on top where you can now see a small icon for style guide. So we'll jump into that one. And what you can see is that the style guide extension basically shows almost everything you can do with Typo 3 from a UI perspective. And we're going to walk through these things real quick. Some are very, very easy to understand. Some are take a little more time just stick with it so the first menu item is typography and this basically just shows how headlines are being rendered um, which options you have you can always take a look at the source code to actually check out um, what's going on um, section headlines paragraph headlines then there's uh, moderate headlines um, copy text with the leads you can emphasize things basically what you would expect at uh, typography. We're going to skip the TCA part for now because that's for the next video. Um, and then we can take a look at trees, for example. So what you can see is all these trees that you might know from, uh, from Typo 3's backend. Um, and you can use these in your own extensions as well. So all you need to do is apply the class list tree and text monospace to it, and you will get these trees. Very, very handy. If you want to build tab things within Typo 3 or tab containers within Typo 3, this is basically showing you the markup that you can then use um, to get this running. All these demos up here are actually real world markups, so they're all functional. Next in line are tables. There are quite a few tables within Typo 3, and maybe in your own extension you want to use these as well. So, what you can see here is the type of table well, coloring or content indication, whatever you want to call it, um, that you can use on your tables with a markup example right below that. Next up are avatars. And you might be sending emails from your own extension. And if you are referencing an editor, you could use or should use the markup provided by the type of recall for that. So you can see that there's basically two options how you can use avatar images in, in core. Um, avatars will be rounded by default, pretty much like up in the uh, top right-hand corner. Um, but what you can also do is you can add an overlay to that, um, which we'll cover soon enough in the icon section. Next, there's a couple of button styles you can use. And these are all pretty, pretty bootstrappy, as <laughs> you might already have seen. Um, and um, the interesting thing is that you can also nest icons into, um, into buttons right here. The cool thing is that if you're running that on a PHP level, which is most likely where you're going to create the buttons, or maybe in a fluid view, um, you can add icons to that based on all registered icons in Typo 3's icon API. Next up are info boxes. These are basically um, fluid widgets that you can insert via a view helper at any point in your code. Um, these are, these can be used with an icon or without an icon. Um, and there are several different styles and it's important to understand the philosophy behind these. So for example, if you have a simple notice, it'll be very light grayish. Information should be presented with the information style means that you will have a light blue background and a specific icon for that. If you want to give positive feedback to the editor or the user of the system, you should use 
the green style for the info box. Same goes for warnings in case you have anything that an editor should be aware of, but it's not necessarily an error because we got the error message box um, at the bottom for that, which is basically red with the alarm. Next up are flash messages. And you might know these from Type of 3's backend. They look a little bit different from info boxes, um, and this is for a good reason. So whenever you want to display a flash message, go for this styling. Another thing that we have in here are notifications. Notifications are basically temporary information that you want to give to a user, and these are the little colored things flying in from the right side. The cool stuff is, is that you can basically click all these, and immediately you see it's a test notice showing up on screen, and I'll just get away from the color, or an into notification, an okay notification, warning, and I gotta wait a sec, or an error that you can use. And the good thing is, is basically you can see the JavaScript call you need to do from anywhere within Type 3 just to get these boxes. The good thing is that if you will use these, they will basically look exactly the same as throughout the entire core. You don't have to reinvent all the stuff yourself. And it, it just gives an overall streamlined user experience to that. One small thing about the error notification, these will stick. So as you can see, the error notification remains on the top right corner. If we add another OK and a warning maybe, these will be removed from the view after a couple of seconds errors remain because it's important for editors. Icons are a huge thing within Type 3. There's a ton of icons. And what StyleGuide basically does, it allows you to see all registered icons. One thing about this part, though, you can type in an icon identifier here. And you can see that my notebook is basically dragged down in speed right here. And this is because there are quite a lot of SVGs being loaded and it gets slower over time. So whenever you're going to look for something, type fast. Um, there's another thing to icons, which are so-called overlays. So you can see here, there's a little lock icon that you can overlay um, any existing icon with, and it will compose a, a, a new icon from these things. So you might have seen if you come up with your very own extension icon as for a record, for example, and you hide this then you will see that it will basically get the, um, the overlay applied automatically without you needing to build a new icon for that. And this is all SVG is automatically generated, so it's very, very convenient. In the examples tab, we have some examples of how you can actually use these things. Um, and there's uh, different styles how to use that. So what you can do is you can just take a look at the source code and use it right away. Last but not least, we have a debug console for Type of 3's backend. And you might never have seen this before, but it comes in handy. So, so what you can see is that you have a call to top.type3.debugconsole.add, which will add a message to the debug console. And you can use this button here to trigger it. So what you can see is it's, it's a small box popping out from the bottom of the, of the browser where you can put your JavaScript messages in case you just want to debug some stuff. Um, you can also supply multiple groups, which will then show up as tabs boxes <laughs> or tab groups, which you can switch in between. Very, very helpful. So that's basically what the style guide extension is about. The core team uses it in order to make sure that everything Type of Three's core does still works. Um, and you can use it as well to come up with your own styling of Type of 3 backend modules, which remain in the same look and feel like the entire backend. And in the next video, we're going to cover the TCA section of Style Guide, which is pretty huge, and it'll help you a lot while developing stuff for Type of 3's backend. So we'll see you next week with the next part of this video series. Bye.